When teaching a course in a simulated environment, it's important to orient the participants not only to the simulator and the medical equipment, but also to the environment and setting. The following video will demonstrate how we orient the participant to the environment and the equipment in a first five minutes class. For this course, you'll be interacting with one of our patient simulators, also known as Sim Man or Sim Woman. This simulator has 10 pulse points. In your training, the pulses are present or absent. If you don't feel a pulse, it probably means the simulator does not have one at the time. If he has a blood pressure, he will have pulses. Here are the locations to check for pulses. Bilateral carotid, bilateral brachial, bilateral radial, bilateral femoral, and bilateral pedal. Taking a pulse on a simulator is a bit different than a real person. Once in the position, engage by slightly pushing down, then slightly easing back. You're essentially letting the mannequin know you're there, and then it will respond. If you could not feel a pulse, the patient is pulseless, and you should react accordingly. Upon entering the room, take a moment and get comfortable with this feature. As you can see, this simulator breathes on its own. The chest will rise and fall and it can increase and decrease with a varying respiratory rate. If you do not see chest rise, your patient is not breathing and you should respond accordingly. As you can see here, this patient was not breathing spontaneously and I am ventilating him with a BVM. Okay, now that you know a little bit about the things to look for, let's talk interventions. You've assessed your patient, and it's time for rapid and effective BLS and ACLS protocol. When performing CPR, these simulators are designed for CPR training, so don't be shy. If CPR is needed, give appropriate chest compressions. Also, don't be afraid to lift this guy up and place a backboard. Be mindful of any wires running from him, but by all means, get your backboard in place. If your patient is not breathing or breathing poorly or you have started CPR, you will want to assist them with ventilations. Place the mask over the patient's nose and mouth and proceed with bagging. You will see chest rise if performed properly. It's time to assess your patient's rhythm. You can attach your AED pads here and here. You should note that the pad placement may differ on the simulator from a real person. Follow the directions on the packaging of the pads, but place the pads on the metal discs as shown. Ask your instructor if you are not sure. If ECG leads are available, they can be attached here, here, and here. Once attached, the simulator will project the rhythm of your patient. If it is a shockable rhythm, you can deliver the shock as advised. Our defibrillators in Wiser are live. We deliver real electrical charge to the simulator, so you need to treat as real and clear the area when delivering a shot. Clear. I hope this brief overview helps you become more comfortable with our simulators here at Wiser. We are here for your growth and development as healthcare professionals. Thank you.